Hello everyone. I'm back with another chapter of Geography, Class 7, NCRT. Chapter 2 Inside Our Earth There is always a constant change that is going on underneath our foot, that is inside the earth. We may not notice it from outside, but there is a constant change that is going on. So this chapter is all about the interior of the earth. What is earth made up of? What does it contain? Like what kind of rocks and minerals it has? So first thing first, let's talk about the layers of the earth. The earth has three layers. The lithosphere that is also called the crust and then we have the mantle and then we have the core. So the lithosphere or the crust is also known as the uppermost layer over the earth's surface. Now it is the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 kilometers deep. In other words, if you have to reach the mantle of the earth, you need to take 35 km down. And then we have the mantle. And the mantle extends up to 2900 km. So again, what it means is, if you want to go to the core through the mantle, you need to take 2900 km down. And last but not the least is the core. It has a radius of 3500 km. What it means is, if you were to reach from the outer core to the inner core, you have to take 3500 km down. So that's all about the interior of the earth. So that was all about the broad division of the earth. Now let's talk about what is it that is there inside. So the main mineral constituents of the continental mass are silica and alumina. So if you look at the picture, all the continental crust which is in brown color is nothing but silica and alumina. And the main constituents of the oceanic crust consists of silica and magnesium. Now you must be wondering what is there inside the core. Since the central core has very high temperature and pressure and it's super hot, so it consists of nickel and liquid iron. Now let's read about rocks. The earth's crust is made up of various types of rock. Rocks can be of different color, size and texture. So let's try to read and identify what are the major types of rock. They are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Now imagine lava coming out from the volcano. It is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface. And when this red molten hot thing cools down on earth's surface, it rapidly cools down and becomes solid. So the rock formed in such a way is called igneous rock. Now in literal term, what is igneous rocks? It is nothing but your average granite that you see on the road. And one such example of igneous rock is the grinding stone that we use to make paste of masalas and various other homemade food item. Now let's try to know about sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rocks are types of rock that are formed by the deposition of material at the earth's surface and within bodies of water. What does it mean? Now, have you ever seen a sandstone? It is a rock made of compressed sand and in between these compression, it may also contain fossils of plants, animal and other microorganism. The third type of rock is the metamorphic rock. Now let's try to understand it in a much better sense. What is the meaning of metamorphism? It means change in form. Therefore, the meaning of metamorphic rocks arise from the transformation of existing rock type. So the existing rocks, they go through a physical and a chemical change with great amount of heat and pressure. Oh, by the way, by existing rocks, I mean igneous and sedimentary. So the rock first becomes igneous or sedimentary and the metamorphic rock is nothing but the uh, changes that occur on these existing rocks. So that is the entire meaning of it. So in a nutshell, igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks under great heat and pressure. For example, clay changes into slate and limestone into marble. Rocks are very useful to us. The hard rocks are used for making roads, houses and buildings. And have a look at this picture. You can see the best usage of rocks in history. Now there's a term called rock cycle. What do you mean by that? So it is nothing but the changes that the rock goes through from time to time. That is called a rock cycle. So you can see how sedimentary rock turns into a uh, metamorphic and then igneous rock into sediment. So you can see a whole cycle of it. So this is what is rock cycle. So whatever that we read in the previous page about igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic all combined together makes a rock cycle. Rocks are made up of different minerals and minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical properties and chemical composition. Minerals are very important to humankind. Some are used as fuels, for example, coal, natural gas, and petroleum. They are also used in industries, iron, aluminum, gold, uranium, etc. With this, we have come to an end of chapter two of class seventh NCRT. So let's answer some questions and see where we stand. First question, what are the three layers of earth? The three layers of earth are crust, mantle, and core. Second question, what is a rock? Rock is nothing but made up of minerals that form a natural landmass and is also the earth's crust. Third question, name three types of rocks. The three types of rocks are sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic. Fourth question, how extrusive and intrusive rocks are formed. So the meaning of extrusive is outside, intrusive is inside. So when the magma comes out from the volcano and it spreads over the crust, 
that is the outer layer of the earth when it cools down it forms an extrusive because it's outside it forms an extrusive igneous rock but the magma which is there inside the core okay there it forms another set of igneous rock which is called intrusive rock fifth question what do you mean by a rock cycle rock cycle is nothing but a, a chain reaction that happens where a rock goes through extreme physical as well as chemical change for example limestone turns into marble and uh, igneous or sedimentary rock that become metamorphic rocks sixth question what are the uses of rocks rocks are used to build a lot of things such as roadways buildings etc what are metamorphic rocks metamorphic rocks are nothing but the transformation of sedimentary and igneous rock under high heat and pressure tick the correct answer the rock which is made up of molten magma is igneous remember that volcano example i gave so igneous which is nothing but granite the innermost layer of the earth is coal gold petroleum and coals are example of minerals rocks which contain fossils are sedimentary remember sedimentary rocks are nothing but which are made up of compressed sand and in between that in between those layers of compressed sand you'll find a lot of fossils of plant and animal so it's sedimentary the thinnest layer of the earth is crust the uppermost layer which is 35 km in radius mantle is 2900 and core is 3500 if you like the video consider giving it a thumbs up and leave a comment below and make sure you're subscribed you'll get an alert when my next video comes or if you want me to make anything specific do let me know